ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and thank you, Christian, for the introduction. As you mentioned, there is no doubt that the new C-Class Q provides the ideal basis for performance model in the SEC market segment. And this has fueled our ambition even more. Our goal was to introduce an AMG version that differs as a standard distinctly from its serious counterpart than ever before, both technically and visually. And after your initial comments from your time on the racetrack, hopefully with fresh tires on uh, Gearbox M mode, I'm quite sure that we achieved both of these objectives. Our new C63Q clearly marks the next performance level of AMG. It simply wasn't enough for us to put a new body on top of the existing technology of the C63 CDAC. We felt that a performance cube should offer an extra helping of driving dynamics and visual differentiation. We systematically turned this idea <coughs> into reality in terms of both looks and, of course, technology. A major contribution was made by the new React. It has a more complex design and takes up more space. This was also a key aspect for us in giving the AMG cube a clearly wider shape. Or, to put it another way, our primary goal was not aesthetics, but substance. Designers call this a case form for this function. I've always liked this model, and so I'm totally happy with the overall package. The new 63 cube is without any doubt the sportiest C-Class ever. Let's take a closer look. This shows you how radical our designers have been. In fact, only three elements from the standard production model remain. The doors, the roof, and the deck lid. Everything else has been newly redesigned. The flared wheel arches make the coupe wider, giving it an especially confident stance on the road. The transition from the shoulder to the side section, the designer call it fluid. And this gave us the chance to increase wheels and tires dimension as well, up to 285 20-inch wheels on the rear axle, and so far I think it really looks cool. And of course, the form follows function rule also applies to the front end. The characteristic A-wing front spoiler additionally serves as an air deflector for the three cooling air openings. The additional flicks allow for an optimal airflow to the cooling modules. The lower front splitter helps to reduce front axle lift. Let's now take a closer look at the rear end because this also has been new designed. The diffuser insert is a typical feature inspired by motorsports. The deck lid is provided with a narrow airflow breakaway edge in form of a sharp blade. Not only does it look elegant, but also ensures greater downforce on the rear axle. Even more downforce is created by the error package of the addition one. On the front axle, we have a lift coefficient of 0.05. On the rear axle, one of minus 0.01. You normally only hear these values in motorsports. So in other words, the addition one is literally glued on the road, especially at high speeds. The interior contains yet more motorsports references, such as a standard fit sport seats, not to mention the performance seats. The extra lateral support comes in handy if you choose to fully exploit the potential of the suspension, which is, I might add, an all newly developed and with outstanding environment, with outstanding driving dynamics in mind. These dynamics are ensured by a high proportion of aluminum used in the suspension components, the AMG specific elastic kinematics, and electronically controlled shock absorbers. This brings us back to rear axle, which features a dozen articulated bearings, UE bolts, without elastic rubber parts. This technology has its roots in motorsports and guarantee for maximum stiffness, stability, and a very high precise wheel guidance. In the interest of even further enhanced traction and driving dynamics, we've integrated a rear axle limited slip differential as a standard. This differential reduces the slip at the inside wheel when cornering without intervention by the brakes. Not only does it enable the C63 to accelerate better out of corners, but it also gives the car significant better stability on the road, both when accelerating from standstill and when braking from high speed. 
Ladies and gentlemen, maximum agility and responsiveness, the primary qualities of the suspension also apply for a 4 liter V8 engine. You will be familiar with it from the C63 sedan and the GT sports car. The bi-turbo engine combines top performance with good fuel economy. In the C-Class Cube, it is available with either 476 horsepower or, as an S version, 510 horsepower. Both version comes with a typical V8 in AMG engine sound. This was mandatory to us when we developed it. That's why we installed a sport exhaust system with exhaust flap as a standard. There's also an option of a performance exhaust system. The, race, the cars on the racetrack were equipped with that with three controllable exhaust flaps. Driving dynamics with background music to match. That's what our customers like. Another thing they appreciate is individuality. So to meet this need, we offer suitable equipment packages. The Edition 1 is a very exclusive special model. It takes its inspiration from the visual appearance of the new Mercedes-AMG GT3, the race car, and the future C63 DTM Racing Cube, which will be at the starting grid of the 2016 German Touring Car Masters. This year, this year was a highly successful one for us. We won two titles in the DTM. Pascal Werner, as the youngest champion in history, won the driver's title, while his team Goetz and the original title took the team cup. Ladies and gentlemen, the C63 Cube holds an exceptional position among its competitors. No comparable model offers the same concentrated V8 power. The Cube accelerates from 0 to 100 in precisely 4 seconds, while the s variant takes 3.9 seconds, even less time. And we don't even need to mention the top speed. So I feel sure that the new C63 Cube will delight our customers as well as those of our competitors. It offers more AMG genes than all of its predecessors, greater driving dynamics than all other C-Class variants, and more distinctiveness than ever before. And our V8 engine is a unique selling point that will win customers in many markets. Not that the market is short of engines of this type, <coughs> but you see, our engine just, ha just happens to be the AMG among the Irish eight cylinder power plants. On that note, thank you very much. Have a nice evening and good discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Tobias.